y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, beautiful brown baby doll. And little Bella. Hi, Bella. Bella. I am currently doing the 30 Days of Brave Challenge, and I want to challenge you guys to do it with me. You are already brave. I guarantee it. This challenge is a 100% free opportunity for you to find self-love and bravery every day you are sent guided emails that help you push through your comfort zone and do things you never thought you would do before at 5 a.m sharp i get up to emails that teach me intention of the day exciting challenges powerful simple exercises inspiring quotes meditations and affirmations and supportive community in fact i challenged myself to be more transparent to be more giving of my story with people around me and with my youtube community and family and as you can see through my past few videos i've been doing just that. It's about rediscovering you, rediscovering the now, being proud of where you are, but looking forward to your future and loving yourself more and more every day. I'm gonna be doing it again in May. I'm gonna be posting with the hashtag 30 days of break. So what are you gonna do with your 30 days on this challenge? Because I know you're gonna join. Check the information section of this video for my link to sign up for free, no strings attached. And I want you to join this community of amazing people that have accepted this challenge. I have so much faith in you and I know you can do it. So now let's get into this video. My journey to self-love is so different because it changed me inside so that I could change my outside. And for me, it was all about really cherishing me and stop with the disrespect of self so that others could respect me as well. This journey has been nothing short of miraculous for me, but I know that through my story, I'm teaching others to get to their ultimate happy selves. So let's go on down that road. My journey to self-love was a little bit different from a lot of other people's just because so much happened in my life at the same time. I was going through so much transformation. I think that that transformation brought about a sink or swim. Either I was gonna flourish, do well, break out of my cocoon and become a butterfly or well, I was gonna fail. My self-love story was almost forced. Fitness and weight loss was only a side effect of going through the journey of self-love. I had been in a really toxic romantic relationship with someone who always had degrading things to say about me. Not being pretty enough, being too big, not being good enough to be committed to. And I couldn't believe that I had put up with that. A lot of people wouldn't have ever assumed that I had issues with self-esteem, but sometimes it's easy for us to mask the ugly. Here are the things I did did for you to think about on your own journey. I'm gonna break this down in terms of mental and physical. So with the mental, you definitely have to think positive about your now. If you don't think positive about where you are, you can't think positively about what's gonna happen in the future. It just doesn't work for you to appreciate what you might have, what you could have, what you could get. You have to appreciate what you have right now. You have what you got, you're working with it, God gave it to you, be happy about it, cherish it, and you'll be blessed with more. This is all I got, but I'm gonna love all I got. Whatever you see when you look in the mirror, love it because you can't move past it without loving it. If you love it, you'll take care of it. You'll be better to it. You'll be happy for it and it'll move you forward with what you need to do. The next thing is to be gracious. A lot of times we sit around and we talk about other people so much, you become so hateful to the world that you hate everything, including yourself. Try to start exercising little things like complimenting others. If someone has something negative to say about you, still be kind to them. Small victories. A lot of times when I realized I was jealous of hating on somebody, it's because I wanted to be like them. I wanted to achieve what they achieved. I had to figure out my own grind, my own shine. So being gracious gets you so much more in the end. Now I love myself, but that doesn't mean I can't love on other people. Doesn't mean I can't say, girl, you over there looking good. Say, like, mm, you wearing that dress. Or, oh, he looking good. I ain't got a cute smile. Sometimes the world tells us don't give people too much because it makes them feel too good about themselves. Making other people feel good about themselves often makes you feel better. And when somebody's ugly and mean to you and you can turn around and be kind, you're proving that you have something that a lot of the world does not possess. So shine on. The next thing you have to do is list positive attributes in how you feel and reflect on them daily. I had a really good friend that gave me a journal. It's called the It's Gonna Be Okay Journal, a journal of self-love and reassurance. And I would always look at the quotes in it. And one of my favorites is this one. Fear tastes like a rusty knife and do not let her into your house. I always remember being fearful of everything, fearful of what people had to say, fearful of what could happen. But what I found is when I didn't do things, I was mad at myself. 
myself. So if you don't start to write down great things about yourself that you're conquering today, you can't treasure them. Take time to write down what great things you have right now to work with. You'll start to be happier about where you're going because you know what you got. Reflect on that. People get overwhelmed when I say get a journal. It don't have to be nothing big. Write a few sentences a day. Think about how proud you would be to set a goal and then see 30 days from now you have completed it. You will set yourself up for success every time. Take time with you for you. Do things that you love to do that make you feel better about yourself. Nobody else gonna do it for you. You take out your time to do stuff for other people and you not taking out enough time to do for yourself. Working out for me is my time. I don't let anybody interrupt it. If I plan to work out, I'm going to work out. I don't take calls. I don't take text messages. That is my me time. I even spend time reflecting, meditating. Take time to watch a movie. Cook yourself your favorite dish. Meal prep. You have to spend time with you for you to like you. You can't expect others to love you if you don't love yourself. If you love yourself and cherish yourself, people know they won't get away with certain stuff with you. Every day I find something new that I love about myself. And then I talk about the things that are within. I am giving. I am positive. I am happy. I am proud. There is nothing wrong with telling yourself you're great. Remember that daily. The next thing is to simply write your own wrongs and move away from the validation of other people. That includes your parents, friends, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your boss, or other people that you come in contact with daily. Sometimes we're looking for people to pat us on the back, tell us we've done well, we look good, tell us we've done good, whatever it is. But what do you think? People are not always dependable. The one thing you can depend on to validate you is you. So now is the time to start treasuring what you say about yourself and throw out what everybody else has to say. The next one is a simple one as well. Set small goals, write them down, and then mark them off as you achieve them. Why do I do that? Because it makes me feel better about me. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something. If you don't look at it, if you don't take it in, then a lot of times you're going to fail to give yourself credit for the things you've done. If you actually feel like you're accomplishing something, it's going to keep you going. If you are struggling, see a therapist. The therapist is out of your situation. They're not gaining anything or losing anything from your thought process and your changes. Give therapy a chance. Sometimes it helps you see things about yourself that have been missing in the past to help you move forward through your future. Now we can get into this physical. When you master the mental, you want to master the physical. Someone who mentally has learned to love and cherish themselves, they want the best for themselves overall. Number one is to do things that make you feel better about yourself. Get yourself a pedicure, get yourself a manicure. And I love my highlight, my blush, my lipstick, everything. When you look good, you feel good. When I have a really rough day, I come home and I'm like, you know what though? That was a hard day, but you're still looking good. Kiss myself, hug me. I just can't keep my hands off myself. I'm not saying that you don't look good, but guess what? This girl right here, she love how she look. If I do little things that make me feel better, then I feel my best. So be kind with yourself and love what you have. In my videos, I talk a lot about self-care, things that I've come through. I'm open about them because I know that they help others. I know I ain't perfect and I'm okay with that, but I'm kind to what I have. Do you like your nose, your teeth, your lips? I know I do. The more and more you say it, the more and more the mind will believe it. There will never be perfection. Love what you have and be kind about it. Make sure that you take the time to research things that can help to make you better overall. That can be your hair, teeth, nails, skin, and clothes. But make sure that you're coming up to your own standards. When I don't like something, I go look at it and I change it. From my rusty elbows, my rusty knees, dark spots on my skin, washing my face better. This is why I share those things so much. I know so many people struggle with loving themselves more because they haven't learned to even work on the things they don't like about themselves. The more you like about yourself, the more you increase that self-love. So I hope today has been beneficial to you guys. I thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to join the 30 Days of Brave Challenge. Let me know some of the things you're doing down below in the information section to love yourself more. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. <laughs>